Welcome to the Simple Software Training University video number 217, the Navigate menu. In this video we will go over all of the options in the Navigate menu and navigation options which are used to move around between documents and images in different ways. You see in the Navigate menu that all the options are grayed out because you can't navigate between images and documents unless you have a job that's already in the middle of processing. So we'll run a job that I've pre-configured that does some zonal OCR. Now the first options that I want to go over is the document navigators, which navigate between documents and simple index. Now you can use the menu options to navigate between documents, which you can see skips to the next document, or you can use the function keys F6 through F9 which you can see here, or you can use the document navigator buttons to navigate. And then you see that I'm navigating between the documents. Now a document and simple index can vary if you're scanning or if you're importing files with the split multi-page files option turned on, each image or one side of a page is a document. But if you're importing images that could be single or multi-page documents, and you don't have the split multi-page files turned on, then one document equals one file that's imported. So if we scroll around, we can just scroll between all the documents. Now, the page navigators, which you can see here, and just like with the document navigators, you have F2 through F5 and the page navigators here. Now, the page navigators are if you import a multi-page image file, and you want to navigate between the pages of that file, you can use that navigation buttons. And you can see down below that it tells you what document you're on and what page you're on. So I'm on page 3 of 4 of document 1 of 12 because this is a multi-page document on file 1 of 12 or document 1 of 12, which are the same thing. If we scroll around between the documents, we can see which ones are multi-page because the page navigator icons are displayed when you get to a multi-page document. And then the page number refreshes when you switch between pages. Now the back option in the navigate menu is if you click a link within a file. So on this particular one, I'm looking at a PDF file that has a link to our website. So if I click the link, it actually takes me to that link within the Simple Index software. So I'm actually browsing inside the software. But if I actually want to go back to the PDF, I have to go to the Navigate menu and click Back. And that'll take me back to the PDF or any file that has a web link in it. Now the grid view, as you've seen in other videos, turns on the grid view. So let's take a look at that so we can get a better view of the documents. Now the next empty field, or F11, takes you to the next document that has an empty field. So if I click next empty field, it takes me to this file 3 of 12 because it doesn't have anything filled in for the index fields. Now these blue values, as you've seen in other videos, are the fact that it's carried forward. But in actuality, they're blank until I hit the save index button. The next deleted page, or control F11, takes you to the next page that's deleted. And in the grid view, those show up as red. So it takes me straight to this page. Now the next deleted page is really good if you're doing barcode or blank page separation, because it can take you straight away to the next deleted page, which you can use to index a new document. The next unsaved page is very similar to the next empty field, but it takes you to the next unsaved page that has an index field that has a required checkbox next to it. So in the grid view, if I go to the next unsaved page, it takes me to this page here because the chart number is a required field and it's blank. So it's pretty similar to the next empty field, but it's only for fields that have the required checkbox checked. And of course, just like the others, you can get to it by Shift F11. 
the jump to document option allows you to pick a specific number document so if you want to go to the 11th document you put in 11 and click OK and it immediately takes you to that document without having to scroll through the grid view or click the document navigator buttons to get to the document that you want. Now there's also some information down below here that you can see which tells you the current status of the document. So this particular document hasn't had the index values saved so it says index values have not been saved. And you can also notice that during the processing stage that this will tell you what processes are running like OCR, barcode recognition, image splitting and things like that. So you can see that the specific step while the process is happening and it shows you the status of how much has been complete in the middle of the screen. Now you can also get an idea of what the output destination configuration will be. So it starts where the output folder is. So it assumes that this whole output folder is there at the beginning. And then based on what you have set in the indexing tab for the folder and file name, it outputs in that format, which it shows you right here. Now you'll also notice at the bottom right, you have a path to the image. This is the current image that's currently being displayed. Now when you're in the middle of a processing job, it has an auto number and it saves to a temp folder. But when you're doing a retrieval job, it actually has the path where that current image is located. Now in the middle of a processing job, you can click open and open the actual image in the native viewer that you have set in Windows straight away. And the same with the retrieval configs. And it doesn't refresh the image until you flip back and forth between the document navigator. And if you're in the middle of retrieval configuration, you can also hit the browse button and that'll actually open the folder that the images are saved in. So you can browse around in that folder. That's the end of the Simple Software Training University video number 217 the navigate menu. We've seen how to use the navigate menu and navigation options to move between documents and pages while seeing which ones are being displayed as well as how to jump to a specific document based on which documents you want or if they've been saved, deleted, or have a blank field.